Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to start a brand new series in the Flutter. In this series we are going to learn how to create a complete login application from scratch till end. And this application is going to be used for any type of application or rather we can say that any application that requires login and sign up functionality you can use this application on them. The first question that should be answered is why you should watch this playlist or why you should watch this course. This course is going to cover the core concepts and the topics that are required to create any type of complex applications from scratch till end. The second point is that if you are new, if you don't know about Flutter app development or if you watch our previous Flutter basic crash course and now you are going to start creating an application. So this is a very good quick jump start instead of creating a complex applications or instead of watching the basic courses you can create a small application that will be applicable for all type of applications so without wasting time let's get started to our core concepts that we are going to learn in this playlist in this playlist we are not just going to design the application but we will design the application the way user will be interacting with our application a design will be minimal and it will be modern design so a user who is using the application will not get overwhelmed by the application then we are going to learn how to create a light and dark themes in the flutter we are going to create a complete separate theme for our application that can easily be switched between light and dark we are going to learn how to use packages in the flutter because this package can be again used in any type of application if you don't want to use this login sign up you can easily grab this package and you can use this package on any type of application then we are going to use the firebase database as the back end we are going to talk about its authentication google login firebase email and password login and bunch of other things or the whole crud which is create read update and delete about the firebase then we are going to use the state management which is the getx state management which will be very useful not in the first series but at the end of the playlist we will use the state management for the back end if you don't want to use getx as your state management it's all up to you you can use any other state management so that don't get confused with the state management here then we are also going to use shared preferences or sessions those were coming from the web we call sessions here as shared preferences so these are the core concepts that we are going to cover so now let's head back towards the actual playlist that what we are going to learn in the playlist step by step so i have divided this whole playlist into three major portions the first one is the design portion in which the first video as you can see we are going to learn the folder structure in which we will create first our application and then we will learn how to create a folder structure for any complex applications so we can easily manage all the clutter of the application using a folder structure then we will set up our theme and then we are going to create two type of splash screens the first one is the native splash screen and then the custom splash screen you will learn both type of splash screens it's up to you you can use any one you can use the native splash screen or you can create your own custom splash screen you can use both and you will learn both in this playlist then we will talk about the onboarding screens the first screens or the basic step screens that will talk about what this application is when you publish it on the play store then we are going to create login sign up with a welcome screen and forget password otp screen verification status and user profile screen so these are the simple design screens that required for any login and sign up application after the design has been completed we will move towards the back end or we are going to use the getx or we will use the firebase as our database so first thing we are going to create our package that we already created in the folder structure we will use that package and we will implement all the authentication of firebase it is the google authentication it is create email and password authentication get user current status login logout all the features will be in this authentication package after that we can use this package in any application and then we are going to create account using the sign up screen and we'll store all the data in the firebase of that user and then we will try to login using pre email and password we can also use google login we will try to fetch the data from the google using firebase again and then we will update the profile in the user profile screen using the firebase database and at the end in the back end we are going to store this data or the required data in the shared preferences so we don't need to call again and again about the cloud queries we don't need to call firebase again and again so we will use shared preferences you can store anything in it and after that the core to any app means we are going to design the dashboards design the navigation menu and course detail screens basically the purpose of this third section is 
that I am going to demonstrate that how you can implement this login sign up using the backend to any application. So for the demo, I am going to create a dashboard, navigation menu and the course detail screen. You can implement your own here as well. So the important thing is that you can get this whole code from the description below. to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about the next uploads because this playlist is going to be very fun and very useful for your careers so that's it for the course overview video thank you for watching take care